Hey, Justin and Leon here, FNK Classic Cars. Word. Word. So, yours. So, how are you today? Oh, I couldn't be. Uh, Man, we're just driving worse. along here in these Camaros. That yeah, and I'm on the wrong side of the car. Sit here in this building. It's a British Camaro. Yeah. <laughs> Not Yiddish. British. We're in Maryland. It's hot. I stinking. forgot what to say. What are we talking about? The Caprice. Oh, the Caprice, right, yeah. Oh, hey. So, anyway, uh, we're going to represent, or back to the archives, as we say. So anyway, we got this 66 uh, four-door hardtop Caprice from uh, upstate New York around, I think, the Catskills. Okay. A, uh, a, a fine gentleman named Pete had it uh, a very nice in his family for a long time. And uh, you, you can tell the story about Grandma. Yeah, Grandma. She got run over? Oh, no. No, not that one. Story. Uh, all right, well, Grandma, she... Uh, didn't drive real good. She got up against the garage on the rear door. A couple things. Yeah, but whatever. It was no rust. Um, they straightened the dents in it and repainted the factory. Really nice burn orange. With yeah. off white, like I guess a parchment you would call yeah, it. Yeah, the parchment vinyl top. Yeah, vinyl top, which is a beautiful shade. I mean, the only thing that was wrong with cars is that a few dents in it. Yeah, a few dings and dents. The and, interior was real nice shape. Yeah, I mean, we didn't even jam it. The jams were perfect. Yeah. You know, it was a really nice car. Trunk floor was perfect. Frame, floor pans, everything. Yeah, comfort no on zero it. rust. No. And it was like uh, I don't know, forty upper forties, I think. Yeah, it was a low mileage car. It was under fifty so. grand. Yeah, but uh, we grabbed it and gave it a redo and and uh, you know made her beautiful again. I mean, it was really as you'll see, uh, we were we're taking these four parts of the original video and scotch taping them back together. Uh, for your viewing pleasure. And if you watch from the beginning, you'll see how nice a car it was to start with. I mean, you know, it had some dents, but zero rust. It was a really nice car. Interior, that was the one that still had the bubble wrap on the chairs. Oh, that's right. That's right. Sure did. The chairs had never actually been sat on because it still had that plastic stuff from the dealership on. Right. It was a really nice car. It was uh, black vinyl with a cloth inserts. Yeah. Well, Without any further ado, here's the beginning, middle, and end of that car. And please remember to subscribe. The channel's yes. growing. We love it. We appreciate it. Let's keep it going, and we'll see you on the next one. Hey, and don't forget, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. See ya. Okay. All right, bye. Oh, out of here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me get out first. Uh, you got it? I got it. Be careful. I'm going to be careful. For posterity's sake, I'm going to video us going over this bridge with a nice. car on a trailer and an extremely narrow footprint. We have about six inches over here. This is part of our 66 four door Caprice trip. We made it. Yay. Here at FNK Classic Cars. Oh yeah, we're here with the 1966 Chevrolet Caprice. It says Chevrolet right on there. 42,000 original miles on this bad boy right here. This is a very nice car. We're yeah, going to walk you around it and tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, it's a uh, no rush, uh, 42,000 miles, 327. It's in here. This is 327, 275 horse, power glide, power steering, uh, air conditioning. All the good stuff, and some of the bad stuff too, but all the good stuff. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It is, a, it is a really nice car. Uh, runs and drives. Yeah. The interior is immaculate. It's all, all original. Got a couple dents to fix. Um, and then we'll paint it, and then this thing will be like a new car. More or less. Super clean inside. Comfort Tron. Heating and air conditioning system. It still has the factory or the uh, dealer installed slip covers over the seats. They were the 
basically the condom of the 60s. Right. The headliner's immaculate. First eater. I mean, just super clean. Bumper guards. What else? Uh, this thing had some pretty neat options. Fold down, fold down armrest, armrest in the rear in the seat. seat. Uh, like I say, a Comfortron. It's got the dual ashtrays, which is an option. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in the front. In case you want to smoke two cigarettes. Or smoke one. two cigarettes, yeah. Like you say, it's a few dings and dents, but there's no rust underneath the car. is spectacular, too. A buddy of mine had it on his lift checking the fuel lines and stuff for us, and it's beautiful underneath. Yeah, he said the uh, factory undercoat was still yeah. in nice shape. It's not cracked or nothing. Just an all-around beautiful car. This one's going to get redone and uh, be put back just the way you see it now but shiny yeah new paint all the dents straightened and it'll be just like it was out of the showroom floor yeah we just popped uh those hubcaps on there the other ones were a little banged up these were nice for condition and kind of complete out the look factory look to the car so stay tuned for part two when we come back at it this thing will have a fresh paint job all the dings and dents will be gone and uh she'll be looking like uh like new yeah See y'all later. Hey, Justin and Leon here, FNK Classic Cars. Hey, how y'all doing? Taking a quick look, doing a just a real fast walk around video on the 66 Caprice, Caprice four-door hardtop here. You can see it's well underway. Oh, it's got all the dents straight. All the dings, dings and dents, yeah. Armor. There was no rust in this car. No, yeah, there's definitely no rust. So everything that you're seeing here is just straightening. Straightening, yeah, and, and getting it ready for some paint. To get a good look at the side there I've been working on. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking real nice. There was a dent there where Grandma got up against something, they fixed that. Yep. They fixed all the little things, you know, just like balls and stuff hitting it every year. Yeah, the, the worst things. of it was really this door. That. Is, you know, they had small dents there. This door that Grandma had gotten up against the wall in the garage. And, yeah, it's great. They straightened it all good. out. They, you know, used the stud gun, pull it out. And, Finished it with a little bit, of, little bit of plastic, but not much. Interior is immaculate. A little dusty oh, from the bodywork, but this, the interior in this car is oh, just beautiful. Good. It is good. <laughs> yeah, One seriously. One tiny spot in the carpet, and that's it from our grandma's side. put it. 327 runs real nice. 275 works. Got the small double humps on it. Only got 42,000 miles on it. Yeah, I mean this car just shows it through and through. Beautiful. All right, we'll catch up with everybody on the uh, flip side of this thing. When it's done, we'll do a nice proper walk around and drive video, show you all the, uh, you know, all the, all the goodies here. Thanks for joining us again. Like I said, just a short one, but uh, we'll be back and go through this car a little more in depth at a later time. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Here we are in the '66 Caprice, taking it for a little drive. Just filled up the gas tank. Uh huh. Look, it's doing that much. About 60? 55, something like that. Well, it's like a couch. Well, like a boat. She's cruising right along. Yeah. We're up 65 now. And I'm not even trying. It's just drifting up that direction. 42.951 on the air Devin. Did you hear me? Yeah. Oh, so that's God. good. Yeah, this is a car. <laughs> hey, Justin and Leon, FNK Classic Cars, another riveting episode. No, there's no rivets in this one. This no rivets. Nice yeah, this is a nice car. We're going to go over this 1966 Caprice that we just picked up and uh, give you a couple of details. Okay. All right. No, <laughs> there it is. Acrobat! <laughs> 1966 Chevrolet Caprice. Uh, got this one out of New York, middle of nowhere somewhere. 
and uh, all original ride, 42,000 original miles. Uh, I mean, down to the seat covers inside. This thing is like it was the day it rolled off the showroom floor. Uh, even even the factory hubcaps, the car's beautiful condition. Uh, no rust, had some dings and dents that had to get worked out. All that is gone. Comfortron, uh, AC system in there, headliners in great shape. Underneath of those seat covers, the uh, the black seats are in mint condition. Carpet's really nice. Only two little spots where uh, I guess Grandma dragged her foot on the on the floor getting in and out. Mm -hmm. It is a nice car. There's zero rust, which is, I don't know how that happens in New York State. But... Yeah, mm, kind of rare. Nice. But this one turned out beautifully. It's got the bumper guards. We just went back to factory color because it was so clean. I didn't want to change it. I didn't want to make a, you know. Yeah, this one deserved to look just like it did day one. All the wood grain is beautiful, everything's nice. Factory radio still, all the door cards are in immaculate shape. Seat covers are a little dusty, but that's just age. They're actually in not bad shape themselves. Still got the, uh, do you, you notice that? What's that? The, Sticker from the dealer. Oh yeah, let me show that. CLA air conditioner clip. Boop. There it is. We even left uh, the sunglasses and the folded prayer hands on the dash. All the original decals that the uh, previous owner had. This was a um, not an original owner, but the same family. <laughs> well, never, basically one owner. Yeah. The guy never drove it. The nephew. This is his aunt's car. 327. This uh, double humps. Head yeah, this car, is a right? 327, 275 horse, double humps. Uh, just a small double humps, you know, small valve double humps. Got a quadra jet on it. It's all original. You can see it's had a water pump and hoses, but other than that, it's all original. <coughs> yeah, just a neat car. Very neat car. Well, thanks for joining us again. Stop by every time. Stop by every time, yep. And uh, please, uh, we're trying to grow the channel, so if you like what you see, even if you don't like what you see, subscribe, subscribe anyway, right? <laughs> and uh, hit the bell for those notifications, spread the word, we really do appreciate it. And um, if you're ever in the area, we'd love to have you visit, we can uh, put you up on the channel. Until next time, we'll see you.